What's up, Meatbags? It's the Off Imitated, Never Duplicated, Tony TGD, and we're coming at you with another Amico update. This time we're going to be talking about the Chapter 11 bankruptcy. We're going to be talking about internals of the system. We're going to be talking about the Santa Ana office closing down. We got so much information, and some of it, some of it is good news, because I heard from a little birdie that Intellivision might have found its angel. Hey, hey, get out of my way. Well, I know what you're here for. You're here for the Chapter 11 bankruptcy news. So we're going to get to that first. But before we do, let me remind you to like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more hot Amico content or, of course, any other kind of geek or gaming-related content because that's what we do here and that's what we cover. Now, everybody's wondering what happened with the Chapter 11. This was supposed to go through. I said it was imminent. Days Gaming made a video. Smash JT made a video. Lots of people were talking about Chapter 11, but it hasn't happened. And I'll tell you, I have been checking Pacer. I have been checking the court system. It's not there. And today I found out why. You see, one of my little birdies, they uh, sent me a little email. And basically, uh, somebody's blocking it. Now, what I failed to mention the other day when I was talking about Chapter 11 was not only does the court get to look at the paperwork and say, hey, you know, we, we agree with you, we disagree with you, we don't think Chapter 11 is going to work, uh, we, uh, you know, recommend liquid, uh, liquidation, no Chapter 11, but also the creditors, the people they owe money to, they get to look at it and say, hey, this, this is a shit deal, I don't want this, you're not going to give me 10 cents on the dollar, you're not going to just wipe away the debt and walk away scot-free. So one of their creditors, the big one, you know, Big Sadesh, he told them, uh-uh, you ain't just going to walk away from this deal. You owe me my money. Give me my money. Uh, so right now, in television, Sudesh, they're trying to come to an agreement, some sort of arrangement that'll make both parties happy that'll allow in television to go through with their Chapter 11 bankruptcy, but also get Sudesh a little bit of that cheddar in his pocket. Now, with that said, there is some good news on the horizon because Intelligent has found somebody willing to give them money on the stipulation that the debts and loans get erased, get forgiven. You know, Chapter 11 has to go through. So like I said before, and it's quite possible that it is the board members, as I said, you know, they need to go through Chapter 11. They need to either wipe out these debts or reduce them to such a capacity that the person who has the money, who has them dollar bills is willing to put it into the project so they can go ahead and produce some consoles. Now, they're not going to be able to produce all of them with this money. They're not going to be able to get everybody's pre orders. They're not going to be making 100000 but they will be able to make a sizable chunk of Amico's if everything goes through. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tony, they're not ready. The games aren't ready. Things ain't ready. Nothing's done, right? Well, it's not quite true. I know for a fact that the front end is done. Not only is the front end done, but you can uh, turn it on. You can boot up the system. It will boot up uh, to allow you to go ahead and pick a game, load a game, you know, launch a game. Front end's all ready to go, baby. In fact, from what I heard, from what I've been told, the boot up only takes about as long as the Xbox One boot up. Turn it on, boot that baby up. It, it could race the Xbox One, and it'll be neck and neck for which one is ready to go first. Uh, so there's really no reason why they didn't show it. There's no reason why they couldn't show it. Uh, you know, maybe, again, Tommy and them, they got these grandiose plans. They're thinking, you know, it's going to be so special. We're going to wait and show this all at once at some big YouTuber's party or some shit. But they really don't need to. They could just go ahead you know, put a camera on it, show it booting up, it works, it launches games, front end's all ready to go. Now, are all the games ready to go? Probably not. Uh, I've got no word on to whether or not Cornhole is 100%, but I do know that, he, uh, you know, Emoji Charades is ready to go. Because that has been playable for quite some time, as I reported earlier. So I think that about covers everything, right? You know, we covered the bankruptcy uh, for a recap. 
uh, being blocked by Big Sadesh wants his money. Uh, they got somebody waiting in the wings to give them money to make Amigos should the Chapter 11 go through. Uh, the console does have a front end that is functional. It works. It boots up. It doesn't take that long. Oh, yeah, and that's right. The Santa Ana office is closed. Somebody went there, took pictures. It's closed. Got a lock on the front door. So uh, it just goes with what people were saying. You know, they were closing down offices. We knew that already. Uh, but it is nice to have a little bit of confirmation of which offices exactly got closed. Um, assuming that the only one that's still open is the one that Nick Richards owns because he owns it. So he probably could be like, hey, don't worry, guys. Just come on in. Uh, use the space. Uh, we'll figure something out down the road, you know. So there you go. Now, like I said before, it is quite possible that they launch the Amicos with no back end, with no ability to use the Internet. Uh, it becomes a glorified plug and play, but it does get out the door. It does get you these six pack ins. And then maybe, you know, the second or third run of Amicos become regular Amicos. And these are just going to be uh, not Amicos, Namicos. Uh, but there you have it. Uh and for those of you who always say that I only bring you bad information or only bring you bad news, this is, I guess, good news on the horizon for some people. Uh, bad news for investors, bad news for Smash. You're not getting that 10 grand back if this goes through. So I guess Smash is probably rooting for Big Sadesh. Now, the Amico fans, they're rooting for Intellivision in this fight. Me, I'm just here spectating, just here watching the, the show and reporting on the news. But as always, love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.